Hi, welcome to my video on mineral cleavage. This can be one of the most difficult principles when you're dealing with mineral identification. So let's get started. First of all, what is cleavage in a mineral? Well, it's a point of weakness in the molecular bonding in the mineral. So how can you identify it? Well, this wonderful piece of muscovite mica here demonstrates it beautifully, how all of the light is reflecting off of this one surface at the same time. Now, you flip it over, again, the underside reflects. Flip it on its side and you can't really see much reflection from in here. But, since you know that the top and the bottom both reflect and they're parallel, then you have one direction of cleavage. That's the key. If you have two surfaces that are parallel, that's one direction. So, another example of unidirectional cleavage is right here in this piece of gypsum. So, it's brilliantly reflecting there. And right here. So, that's one direction of cleavage. Now, you turn it on its side, and right in through here, you don't see so much in the way of the reflective nature. So, again, Here's one right here, and one right here, and they're parallel surfaces, so that's one direction of cleavage. Now, an example of two directions of cleavage would be right here, and this cute little piece of plagioclase feldspar. So, you have one surface right here. Let's see if I can get it to reflect really well for you. There we go. There's one direction. And it always helps me to keep my finger on it, so you know that the bottom should also reflect really nicely. There we go. Okay, so there's one direction of cleavage. Now, looking for another one, look on the side. So you've got this held in, and you can see how that reflects the light quite nicely. Oh, there we go. So. These are at roughly 90 degree angles, roughly. So this makes it two directions of cleavage at 90 degrees. Another example would be three directions of cleavage. So here we have a chunk of galena and we have one, flip it over. Yep, that's one, another one here. So two, and if we're on the back side, we'll be able to see that. And then, so you flip it, and there's our third direction of cleavage. So, you have one, two, three directions of cleavage for Galena. Now, there are also instances in which there's no cleavage present. Perfect example is quartz. Still reflects the light really nicely, but you can't quite make out a flat surface where that light is reflecting from. And if you look closely, hold it up for you, you can see how it's kind of scooped out, or it, it, it has this kind of clamshell almost look to it. And that is a key characteristic of what's known as conchoidal fracture. So if a mineral does not have cleavage, it has fracture. Here's another example for you of conchoidal fracture, this piece of obsidian, and you can see kind of in through here where it looks like it's just been kind of scooped out nicely. So hopefully this aids you in your voyage to mineral identification, and I look forward to seeing you again next time. Thank you.